Here comes the bull. 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 I know y'all tired of this raggedy robe. I meant to buy a new one. <sighs> but it always slips my mind. So. Um, old boy is back. With this stalking shit because. I didn't get a chance. I didn't get a chance to look at my call log today. Right? I didn't get a chance to look at my call log today. So, last night, I don't know what time it was because I didn't bother to look. But somebody did the same thing I told you that they did before. Um, by the window, right? So... I'm listening and I'm listening and it just, it's like they're moving around or whatever, I don't know, but I turned the light on and then they, they left out again. Yeah, I turned the light, when I turned the light on, they left. So today I look at my call out. And believe it or not, I didn't look at my call log all day while I was at work because it was either I pick up when you call or I didn't. So I didn't feel like, you know, whatever. But when I do look at my call log, I see that he called me again in the a.m. around that time. Yeah, I gotta get out of this place, man. I gotta get out of this place. I'm so tired. I'm cooking dinner right now, so I can't go to sleep. And I still have to take a shower. Um, This is my new headboard, guys. Yeah, this is my new headboard. Uh... I'm throwing. I'm, I don't want that TV in here, but that's my new dresser. That's another mirror that I got. That's a new uh, dresser. I'm trying to keep everything neat. Excuse that closet needs to be cleaned. Coming from work, right? So I'll be getting my packages. I leave them. I pick them up from the corner store. Uh, it's a few blocks down here, but that corner store is nasty. They be having roaches. So when I get a package, I'll open the shit up outside. So, these, these, and this. I'm not bringing this box in my house because I'm not trying to bring no fucking critters in my house. I'm sorry, baby. What's up, mama? What's up? I can't pick you up right now. Come on. So I got these. I'm going to show you the other stuff, but this cat want to be picked up and sit on my shoulder. These are cute. I thought they would be longer, but these are my work gloves, y'all. Uh, let's see how they fit. Damn. They not playing with these shits. Let me see if I can put them on. They ain't got no stretch, no nothing, man. I don't know about these, man. If I ain't have nails on these, it'd be perfect. But they're stopping right at 
right here. It's not even stopping on my wrist. I, yeah, if I have nails on, this would be my size. I should have got, this is a large though. Yeah, I should have got an extra large. I ain't consider my nails. So let me show you the other ones. And I got protection with these, so when they rip or anything, I could get another pair. It only costs $2, so if you work in a construction field or something like that, try to see if you can get gloves that has like a warranty and stuff, because they do sell the warranties for like $2. Um, and you just got to download them electronically. Hold on. got myself some knee pads I'm gonna put them in my bag just in case I need them if we start you know actually having to bend down so these are knee pads and I rebought my collagen so this is the collagen that I use I've showed y'all a thousand times but people still ask so take a good look at it the bottle is like translucent royal blue the top is black the letters are yellow remember this okay I'll be back, y'all. Yeah, y'all. Um, hopefully, I'm in frame. Um, what's today? Today is March 13th. Um, yeah, I'm just refreshing. Uh, Remoisturizing my hair because I slept on the pillow without the uh, satin cover, the the scarf yesterday, last night. I call myself being cute because guess what? I got some dick. <laughs> Bitch, I'm happy. I don't, I don't really have a, a sex life, you feel me? Uh, I know y'all wonder why the fuck is you telling us that? Because I don't have a sex life, so it's a big deal when I get some. It's, it's not like I can't get it, you know? I just, the older I get, the more picky I am about who I let in my house and who I lay down with. You feel me? I wish that I was always like that, but I wasn't, you know? Lesson learned. But, um, anyway, uh, I'll tell y'all about him if things go in a direction that I think right now I want it to go. Because who's to say I don't see something in him that I'm like, eek, pump your brakes, homie. Yeah, so, um. I have this thing about wet hair. It just feels weird. So when I'm doing my hair, I'm always like scrunching up my face and stuff. Because I don't like the way wet hair feels. I don't like the way dry hair feels. Like brittle dry. But I like for my hair to just feel moisturized. Not wet. But whatever. Um, yeah, so today I went to... I got a ultrasound because some of you may remember that um, I had an issue because I was bleeding for like a whole month. Yeah, I was bleeding for like a whole month in December, November, December, January. Yeah, I was bleeding for a while. I think it started, I think I got started it in November 30, 21st or something like that. And I was bleeding all the way up until um, mid-January maybe, I don't know. But I had told my doctor that she said that she thinks it's something called 
withdrawal blood basically when you stop taking vitamins or something like that your body um goes through withdrawal so uh yeah And close this toilet because I am the type to drop stuff in the toilet. <sighs> yeah, yeah. So I seem low energy because I am not necessarily low energy. I'm just tired, you know. I'm tired from getting up at 5 o'clock in the morning. And uh, my body has to adjust to it. But today I had to take off because I had to go to that doctor's appointment. Um, for those of you who are wondering what this lipstick color, let me see. Oh, it's actually still on. Um, this is NYX NYX. Um, it's called um, Vancouver. Yeah, that's the name, Vancouver. It's a deep, rich uh, berry color. Yeah, I don't know how to describe it, but you'll see it. If you like it, that's the name of it. Um, so anyway. My hair has been so defined. My curls have been, oh, it smells so good. My curls have been so defined um, since I've uh, did this rice water treatment, but I didn't do it in a traditional way, and I meant to do a video for you guys to let you guys know how to, how I did the rice water. The problem is the way I did the rice water may... I don't know how to explain it. It may have been harmful. That's what I'm going to say. So when I decide to do the video, I'll, I'll let you guys know what I did. That probably was not smart to do. But to be honest, I've, I've seen great results from it. So, you know, I used my... I don't know who started calling the hair crack. I used my hair crack on my hair. And my rice water, and I just got another thing of collagen, as y'all saw. And then, um, yeah, I haven't used the rice water in some weeks, though. So, <gasps> damn. And I gotta put this on here now because I gotta put the leave-in conditioner on that one. I hate when I do that. All hair is created equal. I missed another appointment that I had today, but I couldn't make it. I had to go to the ultrasound one. Um, I'm gonna see if I can go there another day and do the uh, the pain management for that car accident that I was in. Yeah, do that one. Anyways. <sighs> yeah, yeah, so. This guy passed the test. Well, not the test, but a test. Now, I've learned to not give men little tests. You know what I'm saying? As a measurement as to what type of man he is. Because sometimes some people just need guidance. You know, they just need you to outright say what you need or whatever. So I've learned not to, to do that. So, but with, with that being said... I do still, as we all should, or as we all do, take us, for those of us that single, take notice, right? So, y'all remember when I told y'all about Dark and Lovely 
and how I was in a shower and we got into an argument because um, I had asked, I had said to him like, oh, you don't have no manners. You came, you came to my house empty handed, right? So, yeah, I remember what I said about how Dr. Lovely responded. He started spazzing. Oh, I don't live here. I don't have to do that. I don't have to bring this and blah, 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 right? Over something so small. So, damn, I don't want to call him this. So anyway, needs to be home though. Um, so anyway, what am I going to name this guy? I'm going to name him Trini. Cause he's from Trinidad. So, um anyway. So Trini, the guy that I've, I've been talking to, I actually was dealing with him before, right? And I'll make a whole video about, not a whole video, but I'll get more into detail. I'm just trying to put y'all on, right? So, um, he comes over for the first time yesterday, right? He had took me on a real nice date before, and he's the one that got my nails done, um, Oof, I got, I'm going to put some um, tea tree oil in my scalp too. So anyway, so he's the reason why my nails is done. Um, and he had took me to a real nice restaurant. And like I said, this is somebody that I, I had an encounter with previously. Like we went on a date previously. We used to talk on the phone, blah, blah, blah. So we linked back up. And this is the first time he's coming to my house. So he's a Virgo, right? And now I know that there's some of you that don't believe in horoscopes and stuff. Sorry, I'm just trying to look at the health of my hair. I got some shed here, but I feel like it's in good condition. Um, so he's a Virgo. If if you are into astrology or whatever, you know that Virgos tend to be perfectionist. Or at least they like to appear perfect, right? So he's really like particular about stuff. He claims that he's not, but he is, which I don't mind. Um, he's really particular about stuff and all that extra stuff. So he's like a perfectionist and he's really like a classy type of type of nigga, right? And y'all see me, I'm rough around the edges. That's not to say that I can't be classy because... You just have to present yourself a certain way when you go to certain places. But for the most part, I'm just down to earth. Like, I am who I am. I'm not going to front for nobody unless I'm in a professional setting or unless I'm in a, you know, more refined setting, right? So, he's a he's a bit reserved, like that type of, type of dude. So, he comes over and, you know, I live in the hood. <laughs> So he telling me about the crackhead that was downstairs and shit. Um, oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. He told me about the crackhead that was downstairs. He come in and he inspected my house and you know, one of them type of. He was like, oh, this is good, this is good. So I'm like, yeah, well, I told you I don't, you know, I'm not living in no mansion and no fancy. You know, whatever, y'all know how long, how bad I want to move to, out this apartment. So anybody I come across, I, I be telling them that, like... That's one of my things that I talk about. Like, I want to move out of my apartment. So, you know, that's going to happen soon. Hopefully, I'm going to make that happen. Um, so, anyway. So, he come in. And I meant to call him while he when he was getting off the train. He drives, but he didn't want to drive here. So, he's like, um, you know, he calls me and he tells me that he's on his way. He just got off the train. So, I'm like... By the time he called me back, he done found his way. I'm saying all this because I want y'all to see the difference between somebody like this and somebody like Dark and Lovely. Who don't know they left from their right. Who act all scary. Act like they can't walk. Acting scary to park their car and all that extra shit. This man wasn't like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's reserved and he's very observant. But he's not... He's not like a... I don't know. He ain't no Dark and Lovely. So, anyway... Um, so he get here fine. He ain't complaining. As soon as he come in, he take his sneakers off. He got his little bag. He sat in the living room. He ain't trying to go in my room. None of that shit. 
So he sat down, and me and him was talking, and I had told him, I was like, listen, my son is going to be here, and I, and I don't allow people to meet my son, but the situation would have been that he would never have been able to come to my house because the way his schedule was set up and the way my schedule was set up, it was like yesterday was the only convenient day for us to see each other because we didn't see each other in like two weeks since we went on, um, went out. So I was just like, you know, heads up, you know, my son is going to be here, whatever, whatever. So he said what's up to my son. My son was all tired, a little funky attitude and shit or whatever. So we let him be, but I had cooked. I made a uh, shrimp steak, yellow rice. Uh, yeah, whatever I cook. And then, um, so I'm like, damn, I, t I, I meant to call you and tell you to bring juice. So he's like, you meant to call me and... T I don't know how to do a Trinidadian accent. He's like, you meant to call me and tell me to bring juice? You meant to call me and tell me to bring Why he opened a bag? He got juice, eggs. He got orange juice. Apple juice, eggs, cheese, and I took a mental note for, of that shit. And he was raised by his grandmother. So I was like, um, I said, your grandmother raised you right. So he started laughing. He's like, why you say that? I said, because I just was dealing with somebody who, like, damn near chewed my head off because I stated that they were supposed to come over with something. You understand what I'm saying? So, I've had this discussion with a couple of my friends or something like that about men coming to a woman's house who has a child, eating up her food and all that, and not being able to even offer anything as a replacement. You know what I'm saying? And that, and I told him that's not every time you come over, but that's just a considerate thing to do. You know what I'm saying? And uh, vice versa if a woman is going to a man's house. So... You know, he was like, what? I said, yeah. I was telling him about Dark and Lovely. And he's not one of the people. You know how some, some people ask you how you doing? And they don't really want to know how you doing? No. When he asks you how you doing, you better tell him. So when you tell him he asks probing questions, he's really, like, interested, invested into conversation. So I'm telling him about Dark and Lovely. And me and him is just, like, having a good old time talking about that shit. So he's like, yeah, man, that's inconsiderate. He was like, you don't ever know somebody's situation. And especially if he have a, a young child, you know, blah, blah, blah. So he's really considerate. He's, he's done things that I'm like, oh, I like you. He's a, he's a bit reserved. Um, I just got to get used to that. But he cool so far. But anyway... To get to the juice, bitch. My motherfucker broke my back. <laughs> oh my god, I'm a, I'm a fucking mess. I'm a mess. Yeah. Yeah, my head is growing a lot. Um, yes, yeah, sis. I'm taking that down. Okay. I'll be back, y'all. It's like 8.30 in the morning. Um, I'm so used to getting up for work now that my body has been waking up even on the days that I'm off, which is the weekend. So, yeah, I'm going to just take advantage of that while I can. And I'm going to go start going to the gym early, try to go to the gym early in the day on the weekends. Because I have not been going to the gym on the weekdays. Yesterday I tried to, um... Yesterday, I went and saw how much um, New York Sports Club was. Because I was like, if I can go to New York Sports Club after work, then I'll, I should be able to go to the gym on the weekdays. The problem is, after I come from work, I'm so tired. Like, you get on that train, I'm standing up. Guaranteed standing up because... That's the time when everybody's coming from school, everybody's coming from work. So, them trains be packed to the fucking brim. Um, so, by the time I get home, I'm just exhausted. And then if my son is here, 
I have to cook for him, make sure he eats something. So, to be to be honest, it's like if I wasn't so exhausted, I would have time to go to the gym. But by the time I get off of work, get back home, say it's like four thirty, I'm gonna start cook cooking early because once I lay down, that's it. So I'll cook once I, as soon as I get in. Okay, say the food is done by. 6 30 7 o'clock at that time i could actually go to the gym be back around 8 30 9 o'clock take a shower but that that would mean that i'm up from five in the morning all the way to like i'm that i'm tired <laughs> what the fuck i mean it's possible it's not that it's impossible but I just be tired. My knees be hurting. My back be hurting. So, um, yeah, I got to figure it out. Because I lost like six pounds. And that's a good thing. But um, it's like six pounds of muscle. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm starting to get flabby and soft and jiggly or whatever. So I gotta uh, straighten that out. So today I'm about to go to. I'm gonna go get some coffee. My my homegirl is not gonna be there, so I know I'm not gonna sit there and chat with nobody. I'm gonna go get some coffee. Go to the gym. Oh, I gotta fix my nose ring. I got it in the bathroom. Go to the gym. Um, <coughs> I'm going to do my nails, feet, and hair this weekend, but I'm not sure exactly which of those. Out of the three, what I'm, what two I'm gonna do today? So I'm thinking maybe do the the nails and the feet because the hair takes so long that I don't want to hold up my whole Saturday just doing my hair. You feel me? So um. Y'all see my curls, they've been really, def I mean, my hair just gotten softer. I guess as you get older, your hair just softens up, your texture changes. But, um, yeah. That's the plan for today, y'all. I still ain't distressed this shirt. I really been having time to do nothing. Um, that soap is ready. The ginger beer, coconut milk soap I made, the avocado and coconut milk, the avocado, yeah, the avocado and coconut milk soap I made, and the mango and coconut milk soap I made. I use real ginger beer, I use real avocado, and I use real mango. So, those soaps are ready. I'm going to post them in my shop. Ooh, y'all heard that crack? My elbow. Yeah, I'm trying to uh, keep my hair moisturized. Keep my hair moisturized. So when I go get it braided, it won't be so bad. It won't be because my hair get tangled easily. Get my nails, y'all. Broke. Broke. These lasted a while. I think I've had these for what, three weeks? Oh, look, I ain't show y'all. I bought myself this ring. It was only $50. It's silver. You see this big ass fake diamond, right? <laughs> um, I have mixed feelings about it because the place that I went to, the ring that I wanted, it wasn't my size. And he kept looking for rings that's my size and these was one of them. So, I think I, it was like an impulse buy because the ring that I wanted wasn't my size. And I was just like, you know, I wanted a ring so fucking bad. I've been telling myself I want to buy a ring. But silver, um, it's real silver. It's only $50. So, that's my ring. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to promise myself yet. I haven't made my promise yet, but uh, on you. I'll figure it out because honestly, everything I told, everything that I've, 
not everything, but I, I told myself I'm going to start treating myself a certain way or start thinking a certain way, being more positive. And I've done that. So I'm just looking for something else to promise myself. Like, anyway, y'all. Uh, uh, I'm on Facebook, y'all. I feel like I have, I have a little breakout right here and then I got a bump right here. Anyways, let me get out of here. I be I love procrastinating. What's good, y'all? Okay, I'm, I'm putting low. I did my nails or whatever. I redid them because they were looking crazy. Shut the fuck up. I just wanted to show y'all my nails. I'm cooking some shrimp. No, no, no. Some shrimp and um, Alfredo pasta. I'll show y'all that in a minute. Some shrimp and Alfredo pasta. Sorry, I have to retake. Um, and I'm going to taste some mushrooms. Risa going to try the mushroom because she don't really have it. I'm a new mushroom trier. You, you're on the wrong side. I know. Wow. They can just hear my voice. Wow. <laughs> this is my queen. Mwah. <laughs> I had your back, you know what I'm saying? You dope and slap, baby. Thank you. I was like the only hyper person. Damn, do I want to show I'm not going to show them my boots yet. I'm going to wait till I wear them. I think you should know. No. Can we like tease them? Like a little tease? Like a little tease? I don't want to eat. I give a little tease. But we give them the full effect when you smash it. Sweetie ass shit. Sweetie ass shit. From Dolls Kill? When you play music in your uh, YouTube video, it gets copyright. And yeah, it strikes it. Yeah. I, I be hating that shit. Like, they, 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 whoever owns the song ends up getting money from your video. Oh, shit. you don't get the money. So you don't get nothing. Yeah. Especially if it's Beyonce. So let me show y'all a little, little clip. Oh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Woo! Like, you know what I mean? Calm down, baby. Don't sing on me. Don't chill, chill, chill. I ain't gonna do y'all like that. Yeah, I don't know about that, baby. <laughs> Them joints was on sale, sale, okay? But I'm gonna show y'all later or whatever. Okay, guys, this is the mushrooms with the basil alfredo with the sauteed spinach with the shrimp with the shells on it sauteed. Oh, this one is full. Acting like he can't eat. Go, so oh, my little bien. <laughs> and this motherfucker over here. Trying to save my shit. She dancing. So shaking her fucking ass. So what? And her titties. Okay. Okay. <laughs> wow. It's amazing. Wow. I'm saving it. Anyways, I'm about to bust this down. Y'all Give me permission to do a house tour, but then fuck out of here. I knew it was in fifth grade, fourth grade. Okay, sis. This is where she got freaky on. Damn. Where the fucking light, bro? Okay, sis. Okay, okay. Yo, hey. Yo, say hi to my YouTube channel. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> you to be a dumb shit. Yeah, they ain't see you in a minute, bitch. You been ghost. Yo, what you cooking? Don't, don't look at me. 
I'm on my boxes that I got. Bitch, I already did a house tour. <laughs> I'm making turkey wings. Oh my god. Orange rice. Um. She might get some pussy green tonight, y'all. <laughs> Green beans, seasoned green beans. I fucking love turkey wings, yo. I love turkey wings. So. I've been asking my mother to make me some, and she was bullshitting. Slap her. Slap we'll be the back. Mold. About to see me on a big screen or whatever. <laughs> Which one you like? Go over, go over. Let me see. Yo. Yeah, wait, go back. The working unicorn. I don't know. Go, go over. Let me see. Damn, you see that feather? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Chit chat and chips. That's one of my favorites. Isn't you went that way? Yeah. Yo, I can't believe this. With Expedia, I Look at them motherfucking commercials, bitch. Monetize me. When she grows up, she'll never outgrow the memory of our adventure. Unlock savings when you add select hotels to your existing trip. I can't All believe it. Yo, y'all see me? This is your Amazon family. And this is just a random ass chit chat. Girl. Um, Where your eyebrows? <laughs> Look at my hair. So, um, Y'all just gonna sit in here, sit here and watch me do that. And also, yo, why y'all be letting me look like this, yo? I got some tequila and Kool-Aid. Bitch, it's tequila. <laughs> you fucking ghetto ass. <laughs> One day I'm gonna be on a real big screen. Okay. All right. We get into mm -hmm. Just remember me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All that. Right. You can exit out of this. I just wanted to see what it looks like. You don't have a watch your video? I do, but I watch them on my phone. Like, I never see my video on the TV. Like, real big? Yeah. Like this one? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm over here looking like a fucking... I'm here. looking like a fucking thumb, yo. I ain't got no eyebrows on now, neither. I don't care. I'm outside looking crazy. Mitch my socks. <laughs> Mitch my socks, y'all. Look a while. Sorry, y'all. I was zoomed in and everything. I'm going off the douce. Yeah, I see it.